Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa Bear Gaming. Today we have another VGM unboxing for you. I hope everybody had a safe and productive July 4th holiday. Hope everybody's fingers are still attached to their bodies and uh, and your hangover wasn't all that bad the next day. Um, but now that 4th of July is coming to a wrap, um, do you guys know what the next holiday season is? Right, that's coming up. It is Halloween. So I'm excited for that. That's one of my favorite holidays. If uh, one of you guys wants to start a petition to make it a federal holiday, I'd be uh, I'd be greatly appreciative of that. So why don't you guys go do that? In fact, let's not just stop at federal holiday just for the states. Let's turn this into a worldwide event. You know, December 31st and November 1st, it could be like a two-day party. That'd be great. But anyway, let's get into the unboxing. Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get into the unboxing, I guess we gotta talk about that jerk that keeps writing stuff all over my uh, packages. So, as usual, like I said, if you can identify the quote, I'll give you a shout out on the next month's video. So last month, uh, Retro Projections won. He correctly identified the quote, and that was from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So congratulations. Uh, you will receive no prize. Just a shout out. <laughs> so I hope that helps you out. If you haven't checked out his channel, he does a lot of great videos. Generally focuses on Sega. Um, and and that works for me because I grew up, I was a Nintendo boy for sure. Um, and it wasn't necessarily my choice. It was just whatever my mom or my dad purchased for me at the time. <laughs> just so happened to be Nintendo. So I feel like I did miss out on quite a lot of great games um from sega especially one one that's piqued my attention is golden axe i feel like if i had my hands on that game as a kid i would have loved it um but just whatever it just wasn't in the cards for me so when i at some point soon i think i'm going to open up my collection to uh sega probably maybe genesis or master systems uh but un until then i guess it will just have to be out of my reach so Congratulations, Retro Projection. You were the first one to identify the quote correctly. And now, let's get to this box. So it says, a winner is you. A winner is you, signed PW. What does PW stand for? Pheasant waiters? Practical wafers? I don't know. Guess we'll have to find out. Hopefully somebody can identify that quote. It's in a lot of retro games. Uh, well, actually, let me rephrase that. <laughs> it comes from an era of retro games when mistranslations were fairly common. <laughs> or poor grammar was fairly common. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's see what's in this box. All right. What do we got here? Ooh box is breaking apart look at that look at that there's too much stuff in here i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing let's see what kind of trinkets they got watch this month's trinkets gonna be a brick with a mario sticker on it it's only one way to find out though right let's see i do i i, I do have to say i like this oh and if you don't know what vgm is it's a monthly subscription service where you get games shipped to you um, you can sign up for uh, a, a number of games. I sign up for the 10 box, so I should get 10 games in there unless I get a one-up. But you, you get to keep the games as a list that you check off of the games you already own. And then they won't send you any duplicates, or at least try not to mistakes happen. Uh, I am pretty happy with the service. I am a little bit disappointed with their trinkets, because last couple of months it seems like their trinkets weren't um, really expensive. And when I mean expensive, I mean dollar store you can buy a whole bag for a dollar this looks like a tattoo yeah it is a tattoo so this is the first trinket it's a super mario tattoo this is the kind of stuff i was talking about like i got a big pile of stickers and other stuff somewhere that i'm just never gonna use 
then they always throw in one of these. It just reminds you to update your collection. Or, or they'll stick a bunch of wild dogs on you. Just kidding. I got a one-up, which is great. Uh, what the one-up does is it gives you an extra game in the box. So that is fantastic. So instead of the 10 games, I should have 11. So the first game, I'm already not super happy with it. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer was a pretty sweet game, but the crap thing about it is it's loose. It's just a disc. And it looks like it was resurfaced. Disc isn't the best condition, but Ridge Racer is a pretty cool game. I'm going to have to try to find a, a box for it. So I'll just throw that into my pile of loose discs that I have. I, I generally don't even put loose discs into my collection. Um, they, they're just sitting in a pile next to my games. Oh. I got, that's actually, it's got GameStop stickers on there. I think that's a first, to be honest with you. But I got DC Super Heroes Lego Batman, or Batman 2. I feel like I have this game. But if I don't, it's because I might have it on another system. I might have it on like the Wii U or, or the Wii or something. Because I know these games, uh, they released on like every single system. But it's pretty cool. I, I do like the Lego games. They're a lot of fun. They do tend to get repetitive. The disc is perfect though. Uh, and by repetitive, I mean it's the same thing where... You know, you're collecting blocks and you're unlocking characters. And unless you really dig a franchise, that then it's it's really really fun. But like, I never picked up the Indiana Jones Lego or the Star Wars Lego uh, games, and it's just I don't know. I just never really wanted to. The Marvel ones I did. I played a lot of them. The Batman Lego games. The the Marvel Lego superhero games. I played a ton too. It's just because I like the franchise. It's something that I find enjoyment in the hell oh sweet nice an n64 game turok 2 i didn't even know they came out with a turok 2 but sweet card's not in the best condition but it's also not the worst uh sorry for that pause there i thought this was the graphics but it's actually sticker damage <laughs> but it kind of looks like a raptor like swiped its claws and and it just actually kind of adds to the aesthetic of the car <laughs> but i guess it does have some damage on it um still not too too bad i mean obviously you could tell what the game is so that's that's definitely a plus i definitely like that one can add that to the collection next one two n64 games and I got WWF Warzone. I just got this on the GBA. Which is funny. But that's two on 64 games so far. WWF Warzone. So that's cool. I like in 64 games. I like when they give those to me. What is next? Oh, it looks like there's a couple of Game Boy games. So let's do the first one. Motocross Maniacs motocross maniacs the cart's in pretty good condition but i haven't played the game i don't know what this game's about so we will we will check it out and the next one is f1 racer formula one racer i'm assuming that's what it stands for i know every now and then they like to change it up but yeah formula one race or sorry not racer race if only i learned how to read Got some stickers on the back, but that's that's an easy fix. You can clean them up. So I have four, five, six games out. So I still should have five more games in here. I mean, I don't know if it's five or not, but we'll find out. Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare. I think I just got this on on um, on the Wii U. But yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, I mean, you know, just another one of those shooter games. I guess I can't complain, right? I can add it to the collection. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh! Super Nintendo! 
Look at that, we get Monopoly. Cart's in pretty good condition. I think they must have seen my video, so now I get to use my counter. <laughs> that brings us up to 39 games. Cool. That's a plus. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh. Othello for the NES. I don't know what that said in the back, but Othello for the NES. That looks uh, pretty cool. I just got to clean up some of these stickers and, and we'll go from there. Okay, there should be two more games in here. And there are. We have, I have no idea what that says. Cytros? Cycross? Well, it's definitely cross, but Cycross, I'm assuming. That, that doesn't help either. But Cycross. The label's in okay condition. It's peeling a little bit on, on, on the top there. Maybe you got some water exposure or something. So we'll check out this game. I know nothing about it. And then the last game we got is another NES game. It is Pinball Quest. Somebody else got this in one of their boxes. Pinball Quest. That's pretty cool. Looks all dangerous with the skull in the in the ball. I don't know if the, the skull's trapped in the ball or if that's a reflection of the person playing the game. Who knows? That looks pretty cool. So I'll be sure to add these. I got nothing else left in the box. So just as a quick recap, two NES games. Sorry, two N64 games. Two Game Boy games. Three NES games. One Super NES. I think that's a pretty good haul. Two PS3 games. And one loose PS1 game. That's actually not that bad. This was definitely a better box than what I've been receiving the last couple of months. Uh, the two PS3 games, eh, I could kind of take them or leave them. But the other ones I'm pretty happy with. Oh, and this one too. Only because I don't have the box. So I'm just going to stick it in my pile of loose discs and try to figure out what to do with them. But yeah, but the other games I'm pretty happy with. I don't know. I guess my pick, if I had to choose, probably be uh, Turok. I played the first one. I didn't know there was a sequel, so hopefully this is just as good. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. Hey, how come there's no knock-knock jokes on 4th of July? Because freedom rings. Hey, what's the difference between George Washington and a duck? A duck has a bill on its face. A bill has George Washington on its face. What, what does the Statue of Liberty stand for? Oh, because it can't sit down. It's a statue. What did the duck bring to the 4th of July party? Firequackers. Why did Paul Revere ride his horse all the way from Boston to Lexington? Because the horse was too heavy to carry. What's the most popular sport on 4th of July? Flag football. What is red, white, blue, and green? Uncle Sam after just getting off the roller coaster. Have a good day, y'all.